In this video, I'm going to show the audience how to make a prop version of Mjolnir, or Thor's hammer, out of floor mat foam. First, we're going to start by drawing out our main patterns for the main hammer head on our foam. We need four identical rectangles for the sides. These are going to be four inches by seven inches and four narrow strips for the angled corners. These are going to be seven inches by an inch and a half. The main squares will have 90 degree cuts, so they'll have square edges. While the edge strips will be cut at a 45 degree angle so that they create the right shape when, they gl when they're glued to the sides. Next, we're going to modify the top and bottom plates. Each needs a one inch hole cut into it to fit the pipe that we'll add later as a handle. Then the bottom plate needs to have slots cut on both sides of the handle hole, about a half an inch from the hole. I just cut two strips out of the plate and then re-glued them in at a bit of an offset using a thin scrap of foam as a spacer. Now we're going to glue all the sides and corner strips together to form a box. It's probably best to use either super glue or contact cement, which is a really heavy duty version of rubber cement. Once the box is done, we cut a circle of thinner foam and then glue it over the pipe hole on the top plate. You can also cut the little Nordic runes into it if you want. If you carve into foam with an X-Acto knife and then hit it with a heat gun, it actually opens up the cuts and, and makes, the, makes them more visible. Next, we're going to draw out and cut the smaller pieces for the end caps. These are all cut on angles, 45 degree angles, to create the beveled shape at the end. Once these are glued together into a ring, you can then trace out the center hole on a foam, which is going to be about a four inch square with the corners cut off, and then cut it out and glue it into the ring. And insert our pipe handle through both holes. It'll stop when it hits the circular cap at the top. We use some hot glue to secure the handle in place. Then we glue the end caps onto the main box. Then we wrap the handle in some thin foam, cut in a little design with a X-Acto knife if you want, and seal the whole thing with a... There's different ways to do it, but I use a paint called Plasti Dip, and then just regular craft paints to finish it off in whatever colors you want. Other details are a little more complicated to go into, so we're going to skip those for now, but this is how you do the basic shape of the hammer. 